I cut myself on a, st on a staple because I'm an idiot. Hence, okay, hello. Today, we are going to attempt to bind a book. Ah, <laughs> yay. A uh, failed version that I tried to do because um, many people were curious as to where I got my paper. I got, got tan, tan, tan paper for sketchbooks. One, why don't I just make a sketchbook with all tan pages and other pages that are not as tan? You know, so uh, yeah, anyone can do this if you're smart enough and if you're not me. I do indeed have two arms. Right, see? There, that's what I did. I was going to show you how I made these, fellas. What? You know how you're making something, you're stitching his, his eyebrow or his nasal hair, you get distracted. And then so, yeah, yeah well, I did a bit of this, a bit of that, and then I just forgot to record the whole thing. So, right, uh, I, I will show you how to bookbind with this re recycled paper. So, you see, I, I don't know what this is, paper. I, I didn't... Uh, you, you can see that they're pretty much stuck together already. I used some glue. A great invention. Only one side had words that I needed, and the other side was just was just uh, recycled paper. Recycling. Illustrate how to do this wrong, and yet have a result that is satisfactory to someone with low expectations like myself. There you are, and I only stabbed myself 47 times making this. It, it, but, but, uh, and look, I stuck some random sheets of paper in between as well, just to give it some more, you know. What, uh, what's this type of paper called again? Um, my mom called it Nyo Piedr, but I don't know the, the English. Co skin paper. How to arrange the pages. Blank, white, blank, blank. This is not blank. I will just make a blank. Sketchbook press, fold it. Why don't we make some small talk? Well, really, I'm just talking to myself in an empty room. But to, to anyone out there, terrestrial or extraterrestrial, <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Staying warm in the winter, uh, unless it's uh, summer all year round. Or, or winter all year round, in which case stay warm or stay cool. Stay at, at the optimum, stay homeostatic. Uh, I will put, what, put, put, put this in, yes, okay, see, it's nighttime, so we gotta, we gotta be quiet now, in case we wake my mom. You have four pages each, you have thingies, see, you have two of four thingies, uh, and now you put them side by side, like so, see, like that. Get your some, get some thread, get some thin fiber threaded, carefully. So you take your two thingies, you, two, you take take these, you stab the first sheet from the outside, and, and you measure out the place, the, the, the site at which you want to stab, thread, thread it in, nice. You just stab it along the, the thing, the folded part. Arts and crafts with soup. Soup craft, soup of the day, soup of the week. It's all the same soup, this one. See, you, you finish with the, the division line here, and then you go back, retrace your stab wounds. And then you, you, so you make sure both sides have the have the thread have, have thread through the stab wound. I should stop calling a stab wound. Uh, I'll call it a puncture mark. No, N needle needle hole, hole uh, orifice. Push it through the thing again, but on the other side this time. Yes, makes a nice line of green on both sides. Now you've reached the beginning. Tie a knot on the inside. Thread it under the thread. Tie a knot here. Push the needle back in through the hole. Pull it out. Right back at the beginning. Pull the knot that you made on the inside out so it's on the outside because you don't want the inside to be all oh crap because uh, you want it because you want a smooth inside bit right you don't want the, the you, actually you know what i do want that and then the next you attach the next one by putting it side by side like so stab it in the same location here I, uh it would be easier if, if i drew out the points first i never think ahead i never think this is going very very well uh, you know normally you should have extraordinarily long piece of thread so that you can you can bind the entire the entirety of your sketchbook with with without having to change the the thread mine being creative how do you get the idea i just try to think creatively so this is the the part of the first thing this is the second thing and then i have the first lined up right here with the second is you want to pass your needle through the first and you pull it out and then you put it back into the next one so it's stuck on the middle loopy bit put the needle back in through the orifice that you just came out of it has become one with the thing go with your gut go with what your retinas are reflecting back into your brain and telling you where the location of it is each group each group yes we'll just call them groups neighbor ah they're neighbors yes i did two pages because i don't have any more paper but i think you could do three pages and then you could have uh six six in a group six in a family six in a house until i reach that it, 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 uh, and then I'll show you what I'll do when I get there. See, when this happens, what you do is die. Oh no. Okay, yay. We did it. We cheated death. Next time, we will not be so lucky. So when you get to the third group, you don't want to 
uh, loop it around the first a row of stitches anymore. You want to loop it around the second row, and so on and so forth, so that you get this nice lineup of stitches across across the the binded binded bit, the, the binded edge. Not like this because I failed. Um, and so uh, there are multiple rows across, but really it should be just columns down, lots of columns. Now you just do the same thing, you tie a knot by looping under the stitch that you just made, and then you pass the needle back through the hole, and then you pull the stitch out, the, 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 the knot out, so it's on the outside. But because I'm an idiot, I don't want to ruin the paper. Oh, oh, I did it, look, I pulled it out, and now it's on the outside. I halfway started on this, but then I ran out of thread. Don't forget to stay hydrated and drink your uh, cider, drink your apple cider. Next, I put this, I, I put them like so. Just sew them. So same thing. Stab here. This paper is so much thicker. I like it. It's crisp because this is flimsy printer paper. But this is, you know, this is. It's got muscle. It's got fiber. It goes to the gym three times a day. <laughs> three times a day. Yes, it goes to the gym three times a day. Uh, oh, we'll see. Look. Now you thread it through the second loopity loop instead of the first one. This might be easier if you had one of those curved needles. And you could try bending it with with the power of your mind. Back in through the hole that you came in from. It is both an exit and an entrance. How innovating. Oh, you might have noticed, none of the books I binded so far have a cover. That's because I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to make one. When, we'll get there when we get there. If you do have suggestions about, uh, or, or questions uh, that you, uh, that you want to ask me, or you, you'd like to see as, 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 as the subject of a, a video, please, please do tell me. Gladly film anything that isn't pornography. Actually, I did film a lot of stuff, but me watching them afterwards, I didn't think any of them were interesting enough to make into full videos. But as we're on the subject of books, I wanted to hear of my book recommendations. I was rereading this, it's called Stiff Alice. <laughs> we're going to count every single time that I mention Alice in one of these videos. I'm really sorry, Alice. Alice introduced me to this book. Alice recommended it to me. It's about the curious lives of human cadavers, one of the funniest and most unusual books of the year. Gross, educational, and unexpectedly side-splitting. Give it a read if you enjoy true crime stuff, because this is really quite funny. <laughs> now we reach, <laughs> now we reach the end of this bit, itty bitty bit, spider. Spider, the book. Is a good book. I don't want to spoil it for you, but the, uh, there's a film if you want to see it. It, it was filmed in 2002. It stars Ray Fiennes, and uh, it's directed by David Cronenberg. If 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 you, if you're not into body horror stuff, this is more psychological horror. Uh, oh, and in a similar vein, Naked. I know I talked about Naked already. I think I've seen that film 40 times or more because it was the only film I bothered to download on my computer in our in our dormitory. The Wi-Fi would shut off. The end of my rope. I will pull the knot out from inside. I'll I'll reattach a bit more. Where is my I can't remember where I put it. Okay, well, let's change the blue instead. That's close to green, isn't it? Books. Books. It's called something bastard. For Fortune's bastard. Fortune's bastard. Well, the, the, the main character, you feel like throughout the whole story that all of these terrible things happening to him, he kind of deserves it, you know? But at the same time, you feel like you should be getting punished for thinking that it's funny. Uh, quite satirical. I forgot if he had a happy ending, but the book cover really pulled me in, actually. I really like the color scheme. As we're on the subject of films and literature, I, 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 and talking about Spider made me remember another really good film called Coffee. Stunt, Headstand, 19, 1981, starring Christoph Waltz. Uh, it's filmed in black and white. No? That reminds me of another film now, Eraserhead. Have you seen it? It's also in black and white. Oh, Schindler's List is also in black and white. Young Frankenstein is in black and white as well. What was I talking about? Strange Days. Strange Days. I'm just listing everything. Adam Zabler? Oh, I talked about that already, didn't I? Tell me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm very sorry. Oh, we read this really memorable book. It's a sad book. It's called The History of Love by Nicole Krauss. Please read it. it. You will not regret it unless you start crying in the middle of class, in which case you will regret it immensely. Please watch Yang Schwenkmeyer's Little OT, also called Greedy Guts. It's based on a fairy tale. Hang on, I just, I have to go return some videotapes. I will cut this short once again because it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I've been offered oranges. <laughs> I will try to film another section where I will attempt to make a good enough cover to show you. But for now, goodbye.